evening and welcome to chapel. We're happy that you could join us here today. Uh, it looks a little bit different here today since uh, you're probably all at home, maybe sitting on a couch or on the floor watching chapel. Uh, maybe you're, you're uh, gathered around your computer, but we're just happy you're, you're here to praise God with us today. Uh, and no matter where you're at, know that Jesus is with you. And so we begin this morning with singing, This is the Day. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Our first reading for today comes from Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. This is the word of the Lord. Our second reading for today is John 14. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known you would have known my father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This is the word of the Lord. I can't believe we are so lost. 
seriously. We're in the middle of nowhere, and we are so lost. Oh, we're not lost. We're just not found. Whoa! Hey, what was that? Uh, just a hawk. Uh, we'll be fine. Will we? Will we? You know, people die from getting lost. Aren't you being just a little dramatic, Jordan? No, they do. Bears attack, or lions, or even Sasquatches. Sasquatches? I saw it on an episode of Unsolved Mysteries. Sasquatches. Oh, we'll be fine. I know there's got to be a way to the campsite from here. Uh, this is a shortcut. How is this a shortcut? We have been walking forever! Oh, fine. It's a long cut. Just get off my back, okay? I know where we are. It's not like the map would have gotten us anywhere quicker. The map? What map? Uh, what are you talking about? I, I didn't say map. Yes, yes you did. You said there was a map. Do you have a map? Uh, no. Do you? No. Do you? Maybe. Ugh! Are you serious? Is it really important if I do or don't have a map? Yes, it is very important. Hey, you need to calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down. We have been walking in circles for hours now, trying to find this campsite, and you're telling me you had a map this whole time. Yeah, so? So, so why have we not followed the map, huh? Why have you not even taken it out? And again, I say, you need to calm down. Oh, I am calm. For how angry I am right now, this is calm. This is as calm as a Chinese peace lily. Look, the map showed that there was only one way to the campsite, but we were going to have to cross over some really tough terrain. And I just figured there can't just be one right way, so I figured we could find a better path. We just need to be daring. Mountain men. Or people. Okay, let me get this straight. That map, that very map that is in your hand right now says that there is only one way to get to the campsite, but you're trying to take us a different way. Yeah, pretty much. What, what, who, what, what were you thinking? I just thought we could blaze our own trail. I mean, who ever heard of only one way of getting to anything? That's just, just arrogance. That's just someone not being adventurous. Okay, let me ask you this question. Has anyone ever tried to find a different way? Yeah, the forest ranger said other people tried. And, and what happened to them? Well, he claims that either they went back the other way and took the correct path, or they died. Are you serious? Yeah, but I didn't really trust him. I mean, he seemed kind of shady, don't you think? No. No, I don't think. All I think is that you have got us lost, and I'm going to head back. Uh, dude, come on. I'm sure we're almost there. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Fine. Here's the deal. We're going to check that map right there, and if we are within two miles of the campsite, we'll keep going. But if we're outside those two miles, we're going to use that map and find the correct path to the campsite. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> we passed a river about a half mile ago, so let's find that on here. That's probably this river right here. And then we had to hike up that small hill, and we came to that clearing, if you remember. Uh-huh. So uh, we were going south, and now we are here. Perfect. Yeah. That's perfect, except for the fact we're supposed to be up here. You had us going south the whole time, while we were supposed to be going north. No, wait, that can't be right. No, no, you see, right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we're definitely lost. <laughs> you think? Well, don't get mad at me. It's not my fault. It most certainly is your fault. You had the map the whole entire time, and you did not do anything with it. You could have gotten us to the campsite 
hours ago. We could be roasting marshmallows over the campfire, but because you were so adventurous, we've been going the wrong way, and now we are lost. We'll be fine. I can get us back this, this way. No, no, you can't, but, but this can. We need to use a map. This is the only way that we're getting back, and this time we're actually going to use it. Come on. Good morning, friends. We are so excited to be with you for chapel. It is different not having all of our friends here, but we know that whether you are watching at home with your mom and dad or watching with your brothers and sisters, that we are all here together as we talk about God's words to us in the Bible. So our lesson today from the skit was about getting lost. How many of you have ever gotten lost? Maybe you've gotten separated from your mom and dad in a store or at Six Flags, or maybe you've just gotten a little turned around and you don't know exactly where to go. I bet moms and dads get lost sometimes too. Mr. Houston, have you ever gotten lost? So there was this, this one time when I was in college that we went to a music festival in downtown Milwaukee and we parked our car. And when we got done with the concert, we couldn't find our car. And we actually walked for over an hour and a half to two hours looking for our car, and we got ourselves even more lost because we kept going, well, maybe it was down this path, or maybe it was down this path, and we just kept getting more and more lost. Mm -hmm. It was pretty frightening. Yeah, and that can feel really scary, no matter what age you are, when you feel like you're lost. Well, today we are going to talk about how we know that Jesus is always with us and he's always pointing us in the right direction. So right now in our lives, things look a little different, don't they? Today you would normally be here at school, but instead you're at home participating in chapel, doing schoolwork away from your teachers, and things all over the place don't look exactly how they did before. But what we know is regardless of how things are now, that one thing has not changed, and that is that Jesus is always with us, no matter what. Exactly, Jolene. And, you know, yesterday, as, as we were getting set up for, for this distance learning thing at home, uh, we had our, our boys that were set up at the kitchen table, and I had meetings. I had to meet with Mrs. Mears, and I had to meet with the teachers, and it seemed like I was lost there as well because I kept having to go from room to room, finding a quiet place to work, and at times it got kind of frustrating. And, and there were times where I just had to stop and take a deep breath and go, okay, Jesus has this. Mm -hmm. and, and so that was really comforting to me and reassuring to me knowing that no matter how stressful all of this change might be and how lost I might feel, that God's got this and he's already got that game plan for us. Mm -hmm. So in our Bible readings that we just heard from, there's a passage from John 14 that I want to share with you again. And Jesus says this, he says, I am the way and the truth and the life. Now, to me, those are some great directions, knowing that Jesus is the way. So right now, we are in the season of Lent, and you probably remember that Lent is leading us up to that celebration at Easter. And what Jesus tells us and promises us is that he's our savior. So when he came to earth to suffer and die on the cross, he didn't stay dead, but he rose again so we could spend forever with him in heaven. And that is great news to remember that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No matter what's going on in our world, no matter what's going on in our homes or in our school, that Jesus is and always will be that answer. Absolutely. And, and what's awesome is that Jesus gives us that map right there in his word in the Bible. And it's so important that, that during this time that, that we're at home, that we continue to stay in his word. It, it's an awesome opportunity. We can still witness when, when we're around mom and dad, we can invite them to sit down and watch these chapel services with us or participate in the, the sing-alongs that, that, that Mr. Schimpf and, and Dr. Hahn have put together. It's just so important that we continue to stay in God's word, that we continue to see God's roadmap 
every single day for us. Mm -hmm. So when we can't come together to be in the sanctuary for worship or in the fellowship hall for worship, we know that we can still come together as a community as we participate together in the services that are posted online. Those are ways that we can still be hearing God's word, being fed, and as Mr. Huster said, we can always get into our Bible no matter where we are. So today, tomorrow, all the way into the future, we know no matter what, that Jesus is always with us, and he is the way, the truth, and the life. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus thank you. For being my savior. For being my savior. Thank you. Thank you. For always being. For always being. Present in my life. Present in my life. Help me to always know. Help me to always know. That you are the way. That you are the way. And the truth. And the truth. And the life. And the life. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. And now, friends, we are going to join together in the words of the Apostles' Creed. If you could read the words along with me on the screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Please join us in prayer. Almighty God, because you've committed your people to the ministry of intercession, hear us as we pray for one another. Fill our hearts with peace and love. Pray for the world. Lord of all, we pray for your whole creation. Enable us to bring an end to violence and injustice, to feed and clothe people, and to be faithful caretakers of the earth, so that all may enjoy the good world which you have made. In your mercy. Hear us, Lord. We pray for the church. Heavenly Father, be with your church. Give all ministers of the word your grace and truth, that your people might grow in faith, and that Christ may be honored by all. In your mercy. Hear us, good Lord. We pray for those who are ill. Source of all healing, we ask you to strengthen the tired, to ease the pain of those who suffer, and to let those who are dying know that you hold them in your loving arms. In your mercy. Hear us, good Lord. We pray for family and friends. O God, our Father, bless those we love, and help us to love all people, so that as you love us, we may grow in love for each other. In your mercy. Almighty God, you have given us the grace to make our prayers known to you and have promised always to listen. Fulfill our requests as may be best and grant us knowledge of your truth in this world and in the life to come. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now we see the blessing of our Lord. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Good morning. Thank you for joining us for chapel this morning. You may not be here in the pews, but we know you are with us, and our hearts are with you, and our prayers are also with you. So we are looking forward to having chapel every Friday morning, and please join us, and we will um, worship together. Even though we're not in the building, we are still together. We miss you. We wish you were here, but your, our prayers are with you, and just know we are missing you very much. I will be doing announcements each week, and for those announcements, we don't want to miss any birthdays while we are out. So we will have our birthdays, and this week for birthdays, we had on Tuesday, we had David in fourth grade and Carleona in kindergarten. On Friday today, we have Madison in our preschool four. Tomorrow, on Saturday, we have Braden in seventh grade. On Sunday, we have Charlie in seventh grade. We want to wish you all a very happy birthday. And just know, Mr. Houston will hold on to your birthday ribbons, and you will get those when we come back. So we can't have announcements without a fun fact, right? So our fun fact for today is, did you know that the average growth of hair is one half inch per month? We'll see what happens here. Since I can't get mine cut, we'll see how long it gets. But did you know that it can grow up to five foot long? So let's see what happens. But that is your fun fact for today. So we looked forward to worshiping with you in chapel next Friday morning. And thank you for joining us today. And have a great day in the Lord. <laughs>